Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Uh, third show of the day. I guess this is technically tomorrow. Um, but we're going to get into Alexis Rocha gets the big win. Um, I mean, he beats Anthony Young. We're going to get into it. Um, but most of the show is about what Errol Spence and Terrence Crump have done to this division, basically holding it hostage. I'm holding up the division, but before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blogger, all forms of social media. Quick hits comes at you every day, twice a, uh, every day. Keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news. Rumors also, please subscribe to the other channel, uh, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery. All right, so we're going to get into today's show. Um, first, you know, this is Alexis Rocha gets the win. He beats Anthony Young. Looks great. He looks dominant. He looks strong. He looks powerful. He looks crisp. But it doesn't matter, right? Because beating Anthony Young and, and Ashy and, and none of that does anything. He's ready. He's as ready as he's going to be. This he's peak right now. So he, he he can compete with 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 the top guys in the division, or he can't, right? But this is as good as he's he, he's primed now. He's ready to go, and we're going to find out how good he is. Um, and he's good. Can he compete with Spence and Crawford and Burge and Boots? We're going to find out in short order. <clears throat> or are we, right? Because um, Spence, well, we'll start with Crawford. Crawford fights once a year and, and doesn't typically fight good fighters. He usually fights subpar fighters when he fights. Spence doesn't fight at all. Spence has fought twice since 2019. We're halfway through 2023. I'm going to repeat that. <clears throat> Since the end of 2019, Spence has fought twice. So in three and a half years, he's fought twice. So he fights about once every 17, 18 months. Uh, do the math on that, right? He fights uh, about once every year and a half. He doesn't fight once a year. He fights every year and a half. He fights every other, right, basically. <clears throat> um, you know, he fought Ugas and... You know, this is going to be a 15 and a half month turnaround. That's a relatively quick turnaround um, for Spence. It's a pretty good turnaround for Spence. 15 months. So they just don't fight each other. And look, Spence should have been stripped of all his belts. He hasn't fought in 15 months. He should have not have his belts. Jamal Crawford should not have his belt. Crawford fights once a year. All right. I mean, that's like the bare bones minimum. Maybe he can keep his belts. But what they've done to this division is criminal. We have all these up-and-coming fighters now. We have all these young... Look, Crawford's 35 years old. He's done. He's past his prime, right? I'm not saying he can't win this fight, but who cares? He's an old man. Spence is 32. 33? How old is he? Right? I mean, he's got... He, just be done with it. Like, we're talking about Spence and, and Thurman. Crawford and Thurman. It, it, it never happened. Spence and, and, and Boots. Spence and Verge. Crawford and Boots, right? None of these fights happen. Crawford and, and Verge. Crawford and Rocha. None of these fights happen because these guys simply don't fight. I guess they don't like money. They don't like being rich. I don't understand why they do this. But they simply don't fight. What Spence has done, and, and it's my boy, he's on the wall, is ridiculous. He fights every once every year and a half. How, I mean, you're not an active fighter if you do that. I'm, I'm not trying to hate on the guy. But he doesn't fight, and they're holding up the division. Now, now you get all these great young fighters, three great welterweights, young welterweights, who, when are they ever going to get a title shot? Virg is going to outgrow the division. He is waiting around because Spence fights every year and a half and Crawford fights once a year. 
Like, the only thing possibly more embarrassing than um, Spence's inactivity and being allowed to keep his belt is who Crawford fights. Take away Sean Porter. David Avenisian. What the heck? Kel Brook. Okay. <laughs> Kel Brook for the welterweight title. Okay. I understand he was a good champion. Kel Brook lost his title in 2017. Since then, he fought Sergey Rubchenko at 54. Zafara at a catchweight. DeLuca at 54. Those are his fights since losing to Spence. And that's the best, like, that, that. And then he fought Crawford. So he fought three guys above 47, three guys at 54, named Sergey Rubchenko, Michael Zara, Mark DeLuca. Right? I, I mean, this is embarrassing. And then he fought, uh, Mean Machine, and Amir Khan. So since the end of 2019, he's fought Kel Brook, Sean Porter, and David Avenisian. Uh, I mean, <laughs> in, in what was the most loaded division in the sport? That's who these guys are fighting. You're holding the division hostage, and the sanctioning bodies are, are, are responsible. The sanctioning bodies should have stripped them. No, you can't fight once a year and fight Kel Brook or David Avenisian. Sorry, you got to fight someone decent who fights at that weight class. There's tons of good fighters. Pick one. You can't fight David Avenisian. If you're going to fight three times a year, okay, fine. If you're only going to fight once a year, you need to fight someone good. But the weight class, the, 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 they don't make them do it. You're allowed to fight whoever you want. Uh, David Avedisian. Wow. Wow. Kel Brook, because he beat Mark DeLuca at 54, gets to fight Terrence Crawford? I'm an Adam. <laughs> Why did he fight Virgil Ortiz? Why you got to fight David Avedisian for? It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Why do you fight boots? Fight boots. Fight somebody good. They're all ranked by the WBO. Fight them. <laughs> right? And now they help the vision. Right? And so now they're going to fight in July. And there's a rematch clause. There's a two way, there's a bilateral, a two way rematch clause. So then they're going to fight again. I know there's, there's an expiration date on it. All right, but they're going to fight again, I would say, probably March, April of 2024. And then that's it, right? And then eventually they'll be forced to, to vacate. So, really, these three guys I just named aren't going to get to fight for a world title for at least another probably year and a half. Virgil's going to be gone. Poots might be gone. I mean, this is a shame. Like, this is why boxing has no popularity, though, because there'll be fights. Like, actually fighting is, like, so 1990s. Like, who does that anymore? Like, as soon as Oscar and Tito became a hot fight, it got made. Oscar went ahead and fought Ike Corte because they were hot fights. Oh, Bacar, he fought all the names. He fought all the, all the hitters. Crawford fights David Avenisi and and, and 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 Kel Brook, right? Like Kel Brook is is the equivalent of fighting Hector Camacho, but which De La Hoya did. But like he fought three times a year, so who cares? Like so, what you took one give me? All he, Crawford takes besides Sean Porter is give me's. He's been champ for five years since he beat Brook. The only non gimme he fought was Sean Porter, and he won by that. I got kudos to him. Year and a half ago, but it's just enough now. Like it's just enough. Fight somebody good for a change. Fight somebody good for a change. All right. Um. And, and now, so where does this leave the rest of those guys? Boots, Enos, and Roca. They not get a title shot. It's not their fault. It's the sanctioning body's fault for not forcing this fight. And I understand. Yes, a unification fight takes precedence. I understand. 
So don't don't say like I understand. Get it. Check. Why haven't they been forced to take any of these mandatories in the interim? Crawford had held the WBO hostage. Spence has held the other three hostage. And no one, none of them, make anyone fight. No, no one's forced to fight. No one's forced to defend their title at all, ever. And, and now you get these three guys. We, maybe there's a changing of the guard. Maybe these names are ready. Maybe these guys are ready to, to, to surpass. Maybe Verge has surpassed them. Maybe Boots has surpassed them. I don't know, but we're never going to get to find out. It's a shame, guys. It's a shame. Let me know what y'all think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow Free Boxing, Free Boxing Blog. Uh, quick hits comes at you every day to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, Texas Boxing News. Well, um, it is April. April. It is May 28th, 2023 from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.